on October 23, 2022. Korean Air Flight 631, a scheduled international flight from Incheon International Airport, South Korea, to Mektan Cebu International Airport, Philippines. The Airbus A330-322 aircraft operating the flight slid off the runway during landing in Cebu after a hydraulic system failure. The involved aircraft was a 24-year-old Airbus A330-322, with the registration number HL755. Despite significant damage to the aircraft, all passengers and crew members managed to evacuate safely without any injuries. Chronology of the Accident That flight departed from Seoul at 1920s and was scheduled to land in Cebu at 22 o'clock PHT. At 22.12 PHT, the aircraft was on its final approach to runway 22 at Mackin Seabee and executed a go-around for another landing attempt. The second landing attempt at 20 to 26 was unsuccessful, and the aircraft circled northeast of Cebu before making a third approach.
On the third attempt, the aircraft successfully landed at 2308, but couldn't stop on the runway. Weather reports indicated strong winds and adverse conditions at the time of the accident. Duetto the accident, flights to Cebu were either diverted back to their departure airport or rerouted to alternative airports. More than 100 flights were cancelled. Korean Air promptly issued an apology and committed to conducting a thorough investigation. In collaboration with local aviation authorities and Korean authorities to determine the cause of the incident. Thessaville Aviation Authority of the Philippines COP conducted the investigation with assistance from the Korean Civil Aviation Office COCA. The initial report, released on October 24, 2022, concluded that hydraulic damage led to the aircraft's brake failure. On October 25, 2022, the captain testified that they experienced a hard landing on the second approach due to wind shear forcing them down. During the subsequent go-around, brake warning lights illuminated, leading the crew to declare an emergency. On the third landing attempt, brake pressure warning lights activated, and the pilot couldn't slow down the aircraft. The incident raised questions about the crew's decision to attempt a landing in conditions deemed unsafe by other pilots. Korean Air responded by changing the flight number and announcing a temporary suspension of their entire Airbus A330 fleet pending a safety audit. The investigation continues to identify causal factors and provide recommendations to prevent similar incidents in the future.